So what are we telling the Most High? You you don't you're not doing the job well enough to test or to try your people. So now I'm gonna do it. Oh oh oh! You're listening to the New Testament. The New Testament told me to test. We warn people about the New Testament. Tiptoe. If you don't if you don't know, this is wisdom. This is wisdom. See, we perish for the lack of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're going to perish with this mindset. Going around testing people. When we in Babylon, we came out. We didn't keep the commandment to come out. We don't even know the commandment to come out. We know nothing about the wilderness. We don't know what's happening in the borders. We don't know these things. We think we can keep the Shabbat. On time in the land of captivity. And you can't. People in the borders, we on clockwork with the Shabbat with he in heaven. Why? Because of our location. We're right on clockwork. When the Shabbat begins here, you guys still working in America. Buying, selling, we done stop. Heaven, stop. Everything stop. When we start back up, you guys still, you still on it. Off. That's how the Most High meant it to be. He doesn't need our help. He tests the mind. He ain't testing the spirit. See, the Most High ain't listening to John. Even to give every man according to his way. Give to every man according to his ways. According to what he did in the flesh. Not the spirit. Not the Ruach. According to the fruit of his doing. Now. Again, who, why is it we feel that we got to test one another? And where did the stuff come from? And notice, Matthew 22 and 32. He says, I'm the mighty one of Abraham, Yishkak, Yaakov. The mighty one. Look, Yahuwah is not the mighty one of the dead. Uh-oh. See, these people walk around talking about test the spirits. These spiritual people, they're dead, family. And he's saying, I'm not the mighty one of the dead, but the living, the flesh, those in the flesh. See, some people, many people, most people going to miss this. In the wilderness, he will be the mighty one of the living, not the dead. He's not the mighty one of the dead. He's dealing with the living. And when you dealing with this, this spiritual madness, you dead. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Look at this. Isaiah 7 and 12. This is what we should be saying. And Hazar said, I will not ask, nor will I test Yahuwah. I ain't testing Yahuwah. I ain't testing people. Who am I to put you to the test? Yeah, you test the most high when you're talking about testing other people. Somebody said, I ain't test the most high. Yeah, you did. You test the most high when you say, he going to gather us. Y'all putting him to the test. <laughs> Man, you going to fail. That ain't good. Well, he said, he going to gather. See, they, they unlearn and don't know kingdom principles. Although it's written all through the scripture, you can see it right there. How the king operate. We dissect how the king operate. We dissect how the servants operate. We dissect how the masters operate. See, you could be the master and not the king. We dissect them all. I come to test you. I thought you came, I thought you came to learn about the wellness. That's a contradiction. You come to test me. You come to see if I know what I know. You come to see if I'm, if I know the scripture, like I say, I know the scripture, if I'm keeping the scripture. I don't know what these people thinking. What are you thinking? But this is what the stupor will do to you. This is what the curses did to us. Blind confusion. It's on us. And we think we more than what we are, this is really bad. This is what you're doing, people. To all those Christians, to all the people just out of Christianity. You just got out of Christianity. 
Christianity is still on you. You're trying to help the Christian leaders. You're trying to help the Christians. They didn't get a visit from the Most High. You can't visit the Most High for them. You got your visit. Do his command. Come from among the wicked. That's all you got before you. Anything else is just null and void. You ready to learn about the wilderness and you still in Babylon? That ain't going to work. That's not going to work, family. You can know everything there is to know about the wilderness and stay in the land of your captivity only to be put out with the wicked. Matthew 22 and 18. Yahushua perceived their wickedness. See? See? When people come to test me, uh-oh, that's wickedness. I perceive their wickedness. And we like, oh, what is this? I'm like, nobody, nobody, congratulations to everyone that emailed me or put a comment in the comment section. None of you done this, none. And to the one that did this, this lets you know what company you keep, where you are. This lets you know where you are. No one did this. In all the years of Yahuwah is one channel, no one came to test me. No one told me I'm coming here to test your, not test me, test my spirit. None. Congratulations. You became a pioneer in an area of wickedness. And congratulations to everyone, even the rebels that never even said this to me. Congratulations. You didn't never, you not the pioneer of this. This is not an area you want to be a pioneer of. You want to be the first to leave out of the countries. You want to be a pioneer in that. He said, be the first to leave. He perceived their wickedness and said, look what Yahushua said. Why do you test me, you hypocrite? You hypocrites, plural. I'll get it right. Why do you test me? It's wicked to test someone that's walking in righteousness. It's wicked. You don't know the difference between test and judge. You don't know the difference. Most High told us we better judge each other. And when we judge, it better be a righteous judgment. It better be. See, we don't know Torah. He never told us to test each other. Them Pharisees were there to test Yahushua. He said, why? My question is, why would anyone come to Come to me to, to through email or the channel to test my spirit. Why? This is hypocritical. We ain't supposed to be doing this. Now, where does crap come from? The New Testament. 2 Corinthians 2 and 9. Look who's teaching. Look, look who in the Bible teaching to test, test. And putting people to the test. Second Corinthians 2 and 9. For to this end, I also wrote that I might put you to the test. Look at this. Rather you are obedient in all things. We not to test people. Moshe didn't test anybody. Moshe said, here is the word of the Most High. Make sure you observe it. Make sure you do it. Yahushua son of Nun say, here is the word of the Most High. Make sure you observe every commandment. Don't turn to the right nor to the left. Man, we've been, we ain't even on track. Talking about turning to the right or the left. These, we not even on track. First Thessalonians 5.21. Look who's telling you to test. <laughs> test all things. Family, this is wickedness. Hold fast to what is good. He's going to say hold fast to what's good. And he's going to start out with test all things. See, they mix things together. Mix truth with lies. We are not to test. You want to test something, test your car. Test your computer. Test your new cell phone. Put it to the test. Make the product prove itself to be superior to all other products. That's what you put to the test. Now, now let me show you how this is straight up wickedness. And unlearned weak people ain't going to see this. But when he say test all things, he's telling you and I to do the same thing our people did in the wilderness. Test the most high. Test him. 
test all things test the prophets test listen we ain't supposed to be going and testing the most high or the prophets test all things Proverbs 16 1 through 3 the preparations of the heart belong to man but the answer of the tongue is from Yahuwah <clears throat> he does the, he, he's doing the trying all the ways of man now this is the problem all the ways of man are pure in his own eyes when people come to do things like this wicked things they don't know it's wicked now I'll be honest we people don't know when unlearned people don't know when they commit wickedness nowadays back in the days a different story but nowadays since we're in a the stupor they don't know they're doing something wicked they don't see nothing wrong with it if this person knew that that was wicked they would have never said it I didn't know that was wicked we hear it in the churches but your whore watch this your whore ways the ruach. Your whore is the one that's supposed to do this. Commit your works to him. You commit. I commit my works to him, not to you. Who are you? You are to commit your works to him, not to me. You are to commit your works to the Father, not your camp leaders, not your pastors in the Christian churches. Don't commit your. They gonna be asking you where are your works. See, we know scripture. Scripture they don't teach. We commit our works to him, not to them. What can they do? What reward? The most high be upset with us committing our works to our camp leader or our Christian pastor. He's going to be highly upset when he told us who to commit our works to. And your thoughts will be established. You will be established if you do this. Zechariah 13 and 9. I will bring the one third through the fire. Refine them as silver is refined and try them as gold is tried. Um, he's the one testing us. We don't know this. Most of us know this. That's why no one ever came to the channel with this. But this is for the one and whoever thinks that we ought to try and test each other. No one understands. That's straight wickedness. Man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Father. If you understand this, anyone understands this, anyone understands the fear of the Most High, they wouldn't be saying this. And when they read it in the New Testament, this, this is why unlearned people don't need to be in the New Testament. They don't know the voice of the Father. And when they hear a strange voice, they cleave to it and say, that's the Father. They start erroneously quoting the book of Revelations, the mark of the beast, things that's not in the Torah or the prophets. No agreement. None. They don't care. All they see is in the B-I-B-L-E. The Freemason Bible. You heard it. They named the Bible itself from a female mighty one. We know these things. We understand these things. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. Each one will say this, that Yahuwah is my allure. The father tests his people. The father try his people. The father will prove himself once again in the wilderness because we don't believe. We don't think he can do what he did in the past because we don't see it. We don't think he can part the sea. That's why we had people on the other side of the sea talking about people on the right side of the sea. You people got to see before you. Did not our people have to see before them? We're not supposed to. Please. And when someone try to test you, send them to this video. But they, they're not many. They're not many people. I can honestly say they're not many people that's trying to test us today. They're not trying to try or test us. But they need to know what they're doing. This isn't good. This stuff ain't good at all, family. And again, unlearned people don't understand when something is wicked. They will partake of something wicked. Don't test me or anyone else. Shalom.